We start tonight with breaking news happening in a number of locations along Capitol, Al uh, Capitol Drive, just blocks from Rufus High School. Yeah, we're talking about a large police presence that en encompasses a lot of different areas. At this hour, we didn't hear from Milwaukee police about what they know and what they can tell us about this crime scene. Now we want to go straight to the first of two crime scenes. Sarah McGrew is standing nearby. You're on Titonia and Capitol. Tell us what you know at this hour. Several blocks are blocked off by police, and it's all for the crash that you see here behind me. It looks like there's three cars, a police car, a Milwaukee police car also involved in it with some front end damage. A lighter silver car has significant damage as well as that um, darker silver car over there, gray car. Um, the police car as well as that lighter silver car, it looks like the airbags were deployed. Um, police still here on scene investigating. It's a very active scene, so we haven't gotten any information from police yet, but we were talking to some bystanders who were also on the scene and say that they saw a police chase happening when this crash happened, and they say that there's more scene continuing down a few blocks down to Tonia as well. But again, we are working to get more information from police about exactly what happened here. Back to you. All right, Sarah, thanks. That is a busy intersection, so keep us updated on what happening, what's happening there. Now let's go to Bruce. Bruce, tell us where you're at and what you see. Shannon, I'm at Tetonia in Vienna. This intersection is known for Sandwich God, Shenanigans Bar is here, a couple of churches, and I'm going to walk you through this scene. If you just look north, a couple blocks south of where Sarah is, you can see an SUV overturned next to several police motorcycles. We'll just head a bit towards the right. You can see the scene extends all the way north towards Capitol. That would be the intersection of Capitol and Teutonia, as Dan showing you now. And let's keep swinging uh, the same direction over to a second overturned car. This is a black overturned midsize SUV right here in the middle of the road. Looks like it slid for a bit and it's right in front of a green home. And I spoke with the woman who lives in that home and uh, the police escorted her across the street. She was not here when these cars crashed, but she says this is not the first time a vehicle's crashed in front of her home. In fact, there's a reason there's fairly new planking on her porch. It's because a car smashed into it before. So she's tired of that happening here at this intersection. And like Sarah said, we're looking to find out more exactly what led to this massive scene. Shannon, Charles. All right, Bruce, thank you for that update. And again, let's try to recap what we've been able to learn in the last few minutes. Again, as you can see, this is an incident that is expanding a number of blocks. Charles, we're talking about Titonia and Capitol Drive, where there are several turned over cars and crashed vehicles. Yeah, multiple location, multiple, multiple vehicles that have been overturned. Our crews have been talking to witnesses. They're going to stay on the scene and give us any updates. Looks like one of our reporters talking to potentially an eyewitness there. We'll check back later to see what is the cause of this high profile and large police presence in the city of Milwaukee. Of course, if you stay with us online and over the airways, we will keep you up to date on this developing situation.